this episode of Red Sky and Chill, we go to Soviet Russia. <laughs> so right now I'm driving in a, I don't even know what it is, a Trabant is what they're calling it. But uh, we're on a Euro trip in Germany and we got this guided tour, you can hear the kid on the radio. Uh, we're driving through Berlin right now and he's giving us a, a tour of the city. I'm driving three pedals right now. There's the shifters right here. So I'm in I'm in second. Let's go to third. Um, it's three on the tree, but it's four on not the floor. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll give you guys some more information about this car, but I just I wanted to take the opportunity of us doing this. We're in the middle of the city. Like there's people. I feel like we're in Tokyo with the golf carts again. Everyone is taking pictures. All the locals are stopping. And uh, yeah, I just want to take up here to make a video. I'll give you guys a better walk around of the car and I'll show you the outside of it as soon as uh, we get a chance to. All right, so we just got back from our tour. Here it is in all its glory. This is a Trabant. It's got a two cylinder, two stroke engine making 24 horsepower. Honestly, it's geared well. It didn't feel underpowered through the city, of course. Um, it's an East Germany car. Uh, he was telling me that the East Germans were the first to come up with uh, a new composite. It's plastic with cotton in it, and the way he made it sound, it sound to me reminded me of poly, but it, it like doesn't doesn't rust, doesn't dent either. It pops right back out. Um, so that's why you see all these old cars in such good condition. But look at how many cars they have here. He said that one in good condition cost about five thousand euro. Uh, which would be roughly like seven thousand ish dollars currently in 2019 at least uh, They've got a bunch of them that are electrically uh, converted to electric including his which is that white one right there He said it's stupid expensive electric the conversion kit costs nine thousand dollars Plus you got to pay a shop to do it. He said if you were to pay a shop, it would be like another fifteen thousand But uh, I saw something driving through this yard that I want to check out real quick. He kind of Didn't really want to talk cars. So I'm just gonna do this myself real quick, but uh, they did have a Mustang, which surprised me because again we're in Germany. Brian's over there googling over it, but this is what I wanted to come see. What the hell is it? But yeah, there's a Mercury Cougar, which is cool, but I'm not into that kind of stuff. This I don't even know what the hell it is. It's a Lotus of some sort. It's left-hand drive. It is manual. Oh, it's got subs in the back. It's a E L A N Lotus Alon. But look how weird this thing looks. I want to drive it so bad. Anyway, to the Bomb Tours. Uh, it was 75 minutes. Coolest experience ever. Uh, definitely highly recommended. I think it was for two people, a hundred and. 15-ish dollars if I remember correctly dollars not euros so I don't think it was too expensive as far as getting a guided tour uh, it was 75 ish minutes long but we drove through the whole like downtown ish area of Berlin highly recommended here's their website if you guys want to check it out I booked it off of uh, I, I love this website called the, the broke backpacker that's where I found out about this uh, I booked it straight through the website I didn't go to the Trabant website at all I just booked it through the broke backpacker.com and it worked out really well, no issues. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.